So these are the leading positions from Group C. Saif Al Zabi, United Arab Emirates, 160. Al Azawi in second spot on 157. And uh, in third place, as you saw, with 156. Really good leap by Shutter Amrisvili of Georgia. Good to see him doing so well in his comeback. This is who we have coming up in Group B. We start with Mumbai. Baba of India with 152. Sergei Miladze of Turkmenistan, 155. All the way up to those three men with 180. Kotspinski of Poland, Ugo Yumuk of Turkey, and Kataro Huguchi of Japan. They're all on the way, and those introductions are imminent. changes on the first attempt. No more changes on the first attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, athletes competing in the men's 72 kilogram category group B, representing India. Baba Ramumbai. So here we go with our competitors in Group B. Representing a of this men's 72 kilo final and is Rahumbai. Abubai of India, Sergei Miladze of Turkmenistan, Richard Lubanza of Zambia, Matthias Rebeko of Chile. Back to your Donna Yarov of Tajikistan. Representing Bosca, Jesus Cuevas of Cuba. Thomas Kuzimitsky of Poland going for 170 here. Uwe Yumuk of Turkey. And from Japan, Kentaro Higuchi. And one more. And he is in the Legends category. It is Kentaro Higuchi of Japan. So these are the nine in this group. So these are the men competing in Group B over the next hour. And we've got three more names to find and they will be coming right now.
Let's find out who our referees are for the session. It's the draw for the referees. And now let's meet our officials for the session. Two of the referees that we had in group D are coming out again, so I hope they weren't making alternate plans somewhere separately. Pascalina Narenzaki of Greece is our centre referee. Your officials for the session are Chief Referee from Greece, Pascalina Narenzaki. Left side referee from the Malaysia. The left side referee is Cesario Cisadine in Malaysia. Zudi. Right side referee from Egypt, uh, Mohamed Right side referee from Egypt is Mohamed Emam El Zaid. Technical controller from South Technical Korea. Technical controller for Korea is Kim Yun Jung. Technical delegate from Hungary, Zina Kierko. Ladies and Zina gentlemen, Zina Kierko is the official. technical delegate for this final. So Group D coming. And what's yeah. transpiring now? The athletes are in the back. They're warming up. They're going 80 to 90 percent of their opening attempts. Some will go 100 percent, not too many. And then they'll stay warm with jackets and hoods. Some with towels. They'll stay hydrated, and they'll be ready to go as we count down to less than two minutes and ten seconds to the next session for Para Paralympic World Championships. Well, there's still two minutes to go before the opening lifts of this group. And a notable increase in the quality of the field. Some prominent names who are major championship medalists were beginning to see come into the field by this stage. And these are uh, how things are in the backroom area. So, all ready to go, nine, and the countdown eight, is seven, on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? For 
for some power lifting. Our first lifter from India, Babuhai Bambaha Rambuhai. So, it is Rambuhai Babuhai Bambaba of India, who didn't register a mark in the Asia Oceania Championships in uh, Pyeongchang in Korea last year. So he's going to have a go at 152, and because of that, this will be a lifetime best attempt for him. So all settled, all sorted, this for 152. Well, we had an amazing amount of misses in uh, Group C. They really topped up. 160 was the highest success for lift. Coming from Saif al Zabi, and every other lift after that was bad. And no lift. So, Ambaba with a good lift. 152, and he goes in the fourth position. Nice start for the man from India, and obviously, he uh, has quite a lot of compatriots based here in Dubai. Did really well with that. It's, uh, a lot about that, should be very, very satisfied with. Nice and tight on the chest, straight up, locked it out, nice and even, great job, nice and strong, really nicely done. Almost a perfect attempt, almost. Coming out for his sixth world championship, it is Sergei Maladze of Turkmenistan. His best result in 2017 in Mexico City when he was in sixth place. Most recently, two years ago, he was 14th in Belize, Asia Oceania, fifth spot in 2015. Actually, in the Americas Open Championship in Bogota in 2018, he took the title. He was Turkmenistan's flag bearer for the Paralympic Games in Rio in 2016, and he is based in Ashgabat. Three times he's been an Asian Games medalist, a silver medalist once in 2014, bronzes in the games either side of that, and he's weighted in here at 155. He'll go high on the board, he won't go top, but he does come up into fourth position now. 155, brilliant, really, really good success for him. Nice descent, straight on the chest, straight up, rack, nicely done. Now there's the perfect left, really nice, strong, controlled. Well, what a fine success for him as we go to Zambia and Richard Lubanza and the uh, situation with Lubanza is that he's looking to go for 160 which has uh, already been achieved Lubanza finishing fifth in the African Championships in Cairo last October So, it's going to wade in here at 160. This will be a lifetime best by 15, if he can make it work. Lubanza, uh, very impressed with that uh, performance that he did in those African Championships. Commonwealth Games eighth position in Birmingham last year in front of those huge crowds at the National Exhibition Centre. Now he's had uh, straightness issues that's been terminated early actually Lubanza 
That would be no lift. And he does not get it. Yeah, I think that was a wise decision to take it off. Um, because it's his first attempt. If he struggled through it, he would have lost power, and that affects his second and third attempt. So he is holding his right shoulder. So let's hope he can go back, collect himself, perhaps see physio or medical, come back out and get that straight up and lock it out. Yeah, there could be a, an issue here, obviously, in terms of that. It's worth watching the replay. So it's the press that goes awry, I'm afraid. It wasn't straight. And then it was cut off, actually, if he, from the point that you saw there, if they then continue to race it straight up, he'd have actually, I think, hit the rack. That's a different issue. As we go onwards to Chile, they always have a brilliant team here. They've got some great competitors. And this is the latest of the Matthias Robeco going for 160. And you see him putting a sneaker back on. If your shoes fall off, they must be put on, unless you have medical reason. And so that's why he quickly put that sneaker back on prior to laying down. Rons and Vera Cruz at the recent World Cup there. Chilean champion 2019. Victor Rubilar has been his regular coach for a few years at national level. Sixth in the Americas last year. He was 20th on the last World Championships. So if he gets this, He's kind of potentially pitching himself up around 15th. We'll see. Potential here for the Chilean. And of course, Chile hosts the uh, Para Panams in two months' time. Raveco gets a good lift, and there wasn't to worry about that. Bought that really firmly. Quality all the way through. And after that, Vera Cruz runs in the World Cup second, his first World Cup medal. What a welcome lift. Straight down, nice hold tight on the chest. Straight back up, driving straight, right up. Locked it out. That was beautiful. Well done and well executed. So now for Tajikistan, it is back to your Donayorov. Most recently, we saw him in Dubai, Don Irona finishing fifth in the Fazar World Cup, which was unusually for that event held Christmas week. But it's been a very busy year in terms of uh, the Continental Championships and then Dubai hosting this world. So for Tajikistan, his third world championships, he's been ninth in the previous two, the man from Dushanbe, 165, no. and that is no lift, and it's 2-1 against on the body sequence. And if it's the two side referees saying that, then they've seen precisely the same obvious issue. So tough luck for Bakhtia this time. Let's see what happened. He comes down, straight up. Ah, uh, his buttocks comes off the bench. And it's very clear it actually comes up twice. So even though his toes are pointed forward, he needs to keep that buttocks down. Buttocks, shoulders have to be on the bench during the whole lift proper. Well, we move on <laughs> to a man who's getting a lot of prime advice here from Marius Weaver, the uh, Polish national team coach. It is Tomasz Kociabinski. They are perennially, permanently competitive. Always send a huge team everywhere. And that is uh, very much the case here once more. So he looking to take the lead on 170. He won't be the last to go for that. There's uh, a bit of jostling coming in terms of the 
positioning now as he goes for 1-7-0. He's still reasonably fresh on the scene. Bronze medalist behind Matt Harding, a great Britain, Anugu Yumuk of Turkey in the European Championships last year. So here he comes. He's kept his concentration well. Has he got that all the way through? 170 for Kopsibinski. That is no lift. And two against him on the press, unfortunately. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. One on the down sequence, unusually, which you very rarely see. So it looks like he really just didn't have his full extension. He could have extended further than that. Not exactly sure what happened on the down. Typically, it's just that you're gone so fast, it appears that you don't have control. If you go too fast, even if you can handle the weight and you don't show control, you're going to get a red light. Yeah, it's in that's really interesting because you very rarely see a downlift being penalized. That has to go very badly wrong if that's the case. Jesus Cuevas of Cuba coming up now. And he's going for 170. They have a really lovely team to Cuba and they regularly send a big team. Gold on his international debut in Veracruz, where he lifted 150 in the opening round. So it's 170 he's going for here, which would be a lifetime best. So he's going big straight away. So they're confident, he's confident. What is it they say, go big or go home? Cuevas, 170. Ooh. He's not going home. Yeah. Two to one in his favor. And that is a good lift. Really exceptional. Polish that off impressively. Nice positivity from him. You have to appreciate that. Nice on the chest, straight up, drive, lock it out, and wait for the command. Very well done. Nice job. He certainly is not going home. For their first attempt, representing Japan, Kentaro Hukuchi. Well, we're wrapping up this round with the last two attempts. For Japan, Kentaro Higuchi, 172. So, a couple of interesting things here. He was originally looking at 180. He was due to be the last to go in this round, but Higuchi has had a, a change of heart going for 172, which is, I have to say, actually quite a considerable leap down compared to what he was looking at. The Japanese champion for this year, twice over in two separate competitions. So he's in good form and bronze in the Fazar World Cup in Dubai at Christmas time. Yes, and as we say, you are allowed to go down up to 10 kilos on the opening up 10, five minutes prior to the opening of the session. Hakuchi, fifth in the last two Asian events of major quality, of championship quality, and he is in championship quality. Two to one in his favor, just one vote against, actually on the chess sequence, but he's fine, he's fine. Higuchi, successful, he leads, 172. Straight down, nice touch, and straight up. 
the side referee probably thought he didn't hold it long enough on the chest. That's why he might have gotten a red. Either way, he got two whites, and it's a good lift. Yeah, getting good successes lately in the World Cup circuit, and he has to appreciate that a lot as we move onwards and upwards again to Ugur Yumuk. Well, now his situation is that he is staying very, very firmly at the mark that he was looking to start at, which is 180. Which is the heaviest attempt of the lot. His global debut. Yumuk winning silver behind Matthew Harding of Great Britain in the European Championships. So this is second championship event. Going for 180, going for a lifetime best here, because 174 he did in the second round there. And that's a good lift, and that's a lifetime best by six. Successful. He's done really, really impressively well there. Ugu Yumuk. And he leads nicely, nicely put away. That really was a nice attempt. The middle ref gave him a red. Let's see. Stop, press up, possible his head shifted a little. The chest looked fine, but he got two whites and he's onward, nicely done. So that's round one done and dusted. And we had three misses along the way, which is interesting actually. That's more misses that we've had in any other round bar. The last one in group C. Maybe a few of them have started a little bit higher. Certainly, in one case, thought it was a very, very high start. As Bambaba, who didn't suffer that, comes out again for India. And he is here going for 157, which will be a lifetime best for this young man, this 27-year-old. And a chance to go high in terms of the uh, career of this really impressive looking athlete. 157, and a chance to go up into fifth place. He's given this a whirl. Yep, good lift. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> his reaction was, I have to say, a really tentative one. He may have felt along the way that he wasn't going to get that, but he did get it. Well done, that man. After this, now what? Straight down. Complete stop on the chest. Straight up. A little fast on the chest, but the referees have judged it that he stopped in long enough, and he gets three white lights. Well done. Yes, the reaction was interesting, I have to say, from him. Sergei Meladze now on the way out. 155 he got. This will be for 160 as we move on to this man from Turkmenistan. The Asian Games silver medalist in 2014. 2018 bronze, 2010 bronze. That's a long career to be competing that long. That's amazing and to still be healthy and fit. Well, it's not just that. I mean, he did have a decade before that of not barging into the medals. He made his big debut. Athens 04, he finished eighth in that, and actually gold in the America's Open Championship in Bogota in 2018. He's been around a long time. Wow, that's an amazing career. Yeah. Can he add to it with this, 160? Sergei Miladze. Oh yes, good lift by Maladze. Successful, impressive, and with, secure. With that long career, still making it work. Straight down, even extension on the way up, and lockout. This is a rough 
sport on the shoulders, and that's why a long career like that is most unusual, and that's amazing that he's done that. Amazing. Yeah, and at the age of 43, Maladze is still progressing great. Labanza coming out here at the age of 22. He only turned 22 lately. Did Richard Labanza. He's uh, going again for 160. And he really, really struggled with this last time. He's taking his time, collecting himself, really putting his mind into what I need to do. It's great work. So the bands are 160. This to match what Maladze has just done, to match what Roveco did earlier, who is in fourth place on 160. Maladze fifth on 160. The bands are trying to be sixth on 160. Now, really had massive problems with this last time. That is way better. He's got the lift complete. Managed to punch through it. And Lubanza, no, no lift. Stop. It was the stop sequence. sequence, but he completed it, which is one major positive thing for him. He got the press right, just didn't get the stop sequence right. They all voted him down on that. Yes, it really was what we call a touch and go. He barely touched and he went straight back up. You must touch stop without sinking or bouncing and then go straight up and we'll see it on the replay i hope yep here he comes here he comes and there he goes he didn't take that second to stop and there he gets that red but he didn't move the weight and that's a good thing so matthias Raveco had that bronze and vera cruz in the world cup there in june Lovely lift of 155 to start off there. In the uh, Chilean Championships in November, he went out to 156 for a very good lifetime best. And sixth in the Americas Championship where he lifted 151, which says a lot about actually the high standards that you have to reach in order to get anywhere near medals. And here he is in Group B. And he's going for 164, which will make him competitive. He will stay in fourth if he gets it and uh, would be a lifetime best. No, that's too heavy. That's too heavy. He won't get that. Oh, that was a struggle. And, no well, whether that's something which is... Just caught him out on this occasion. We'll definitely learn for the third and final attempt, but he's not been able to get that lift going on this occasion. I really think he just ran out of power because his descent, the timing looked great. He didn't go too fast. He touched the chest. He was under it as he should have been. No heave backwards and he just straight down. Nice touch and he just didn't have the power to keep moving it. And that's what we call stuck at the halfway point. Good on the spotters for getting it and making sure he was safe and secure. Tomas Kosciewinski is ready. The European Championship bronze medalist wading out. His best ever result that was. It's his third world championship, eighth and ninth in the two previous ones. Bronze in the Ego World Cup in 2019. That lovely, lovely venue in Hungary. Kosciewinski going for 170 then, which he missed out last time. And if he gets this, he would wade his way up into fourth position. Cuevas already on 170 for Cuba. Kosciewinski 
going big straight away. Now, he didn't get that press right last time. Let's see if he's got to complete this. If they feel he did, he Good. did. Good lift, 170. Didn't need to go much further than he did last time, but he did it. And he goes into the top four. Straight down, nice hold, straight back up. He took that bar out quick. He knew what work he had to get done, and he went to work and he did it. Nice job. He was not denied. The bar is now open for their second attempt. Representing Tijikistan, back to you. Now, interestingly, with Bakhtiar Donarov of uh, Tajikistan, he missed his first attempt at 165, but he's staying in his path. An increase of 7 to 172 for Donarov from Dushanbe in Tajikistan. Part of that great Central Asian area full of power sport nations. In terms of the lifting, the para powerlifting, the able body powerlifting, the weight lifting, but you know, the combat sports as well. Fourth in the Asian Games, last time they were held in Jakarta five years ago. He's on the way, he's not dwelt on this at all. Loads of time left in the clock. He's gone for it. Donna, you're off. And it is good. Two to one in his favor. He raised his backside the last time. He got voted down by two of the referees for that and the body sequence. One of the referees spotted it this side. He's just about shuffled his way through and got 172. And he goes into third place in this group Straight down and straight up. Nicely done. For the second attempt representing Cuba, Jesus Enrique Suevas Cisneros. On his major championship debut, a brilliant opening round, a 170. One World Cup under his belt. And that's the gold for 165, which he has now surpassed for a lifetime best of 170. One seven three for Cuevas. So he'd move up two positions into second spot. Still a bit early to be referring to it as the silver medal position, even though technically it is. We've still got nine, ten to go in Group A. And we've still got a full round to go here in Group B. So Cuevas, 173. Yeah, he's looking really impressive. Aiming for his second lifetime best today. He's got that raised no with two voting him down in the press sequence. And uh, there was no problem with the weight. Strength into it. Did it very swiftly. Not at all. He looks puzzled. And truthfully, so am I. Let's see the replay. Stops on the press, presses up. Perhaps a bit uneven on the lockout. That's about all I see. It's funny, I thought he was going to get that, honestly. So did I. But you know, we're, uh, we're not as close as the referees are, and they will always say, you're within a meter or two of them, you'll, you'll see the wavering so clearly. and they've not challenged it. So the coach must have seen something that from afar we're having a harder time seeing as well. Sometimes you get away with it. Hey ho, hey Gucci, 177. It's cleared 172 already.
just really love this gentleman's setup. Puts his hands in precisely where he wants them, brings his chest up, gets his nice hyperextension, and then gets strapped. He's practiced this over and over again, and he knows exactly what he wants to do. Hundred seventy seven Kentaro Uguchi. So giving this a good whirl. And that is a good lift. Three out of three for Huguchi. That was absolutely excellent. Absolutely excellent. Excellent. The Tokyo school teacher. The bronze medalist in the Dubai World Cup in this city, across town at the Center for Athletes of Determination in December. That was excellent at 177. Straight down, straight up, lockout and waiting. Just perfect, nicely done. One ninety for Uwe Yumuk of Turkey. Silver in the Europeans. That was 174. One lifetime best already today. Aiming now for a second and a leap of 10, which is the biggest we've seen in this group today. We had a slightly bigger one in group C. A Couple of slightly bigger ones. They were both unsuccessful. So if Yuma gets this, he would lead by 13 kilos. And he will actually lead by a huge amount in terms of the total lift because nobody got all their lifts in in uh, Group C. They did in Group B, though. And here's the race to Paris. Bonnie Gustin is top of the pile. Mark Swan, Hu Peng, Ray Dimas of Panama. Top four performances. So Yuma going for uncharted territory in combination of 190. How good this man is! 16 kilos today on top of his lifetime best. And he can go way up if he wants to. With his last attempt, the sky's the limit right now. 190, and where he is, he's got a chance of finishing right among the Group A men. But he has to keep the big lifts going up if he's physically capable of it today. Straight down, nice hold. Straight up, no problem whatsoever. Lockout, he delivered the goods today. Nicely done. The bar is now looking for their third attempt representing Zambia, Richard Lubanza. Richard Lubanza ready to go. He has missed his two attempts at 160. He's going for it again, so his first attempt was very ragged and it wasn't completed. He got the lift complete with a second attempt, but it was the chest basis. You may not see it in that profile photo, but he's wearing a, a Zambia flag, a Zambia scarf in that. Yeah, he needs to focus on keeping this nice and still and tight on his chest and waiting. Hard to do when you've missed two already. Can be done though. The pressure is well on. No doubt about that for Richard Libanza. It's 160. Needs to get the chess sequence right. We'll see if he has done. He's got the press through. He's got it complete. He's punched it through. Has he done okay in the chess sequence this time? <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> Two to one in his favor, and he's got it. He's nailed it. He gets the mark. He will have a finishing position. And he, he may well be top 15 or thereabouts. That's really good so hard to do after missing your first two attempts. That talks a lot about determination, concentration, and focus. Bring oh, that yes. bar down, 
holds it tight, split second, straight up, drives, racks it out. He knew what he needed to do and he came in and he did it. Well done. That was impressive considering the issues that he's had and the, the turmoil that that will engender. Last round. Well underway now, successfully in Group B. Means everybody registers the mark as well. So that's positive. And remember Lubanza as well, we thought might have picked up a little injury after his opening mark, but he's okay. Bambaba of India has played 152, 157. And this for 171. Uh, that would be a big shock for him, 161. I don't want to kill him. 161 for Bamvava for a lifetime best by a long way. Oh, well, he's got that raised confidently and competently and cleanly. 161 for Bamvava. He could have gone on, maybe. 161. 470 is total lift. He leads in terms of that. Extravagant. Nicely done. Really nicely done. He was confident. He got under it. Paused on the chest. Straight up drive. And waits and holds it till he hears ride. Really nicely done. Oh, exceptional. He's got every reason to be happy with himself. So. He's the first of four that could complete all three lifts successfully. He's the first one who has done so. Sergei Maladze could be next in doing the same. 163. So he would take the lead in terms of the total lift himself. And this to go up into sixth position in this competition. Well man whose first major event was that Paralympic Games in Athens in 2004. It's going up uh, quite highly. A uh, step up of three, of 163. Oi, 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 no, yep, spotter's in. That's too much for him today, misses out. Got his first two in, three kilos too much. That happens. That's life. Fantastic on the spotters for getting that, though. It's just go going wrong, and uh, yep. Uh, well spotted, and uh, well, well spotted. Chile! Matthias Raveka. Renteria staged, uh, Rancalia staged the uh, build up event, the World Cup event, a couple of weeks ago. Santiago hosting the Para Pan Ams in a couple of months' time. Which I know so many are looking forward to. 164. So again, lifetime best territory. He's got 160. 164 he really struggled with. Earlier. This to leap up a place. So what can he make happen here? Nope. That's not going anywhere, I'm afraid. So, one mark, that's it. But it is a lifetime best for Rebecca. And in that sort of situation, it's all that you could ask for. I mean, nothing to sneeze at when you get a lifetime best. Shows that he's training hard. He's continuing to improve. 
and that is great. Great to be able to go back home and say that. And he'll keep training hard. 85 days to the Para Pan Ams in Santiago. A big red letter day, the first time they'll do it in Chile. He just missed out, I'm afraid. It wasn't working. That's that. So now for Cuba. He's already had a lifetime best of 170. Missed 173. Now happy enough for him to go to 176. I think they went up because he was puzzled as to why he missed 173. He felt he had the weight and so he feels if I put a little bit more weight on it, I can control it better and I can get it up and get this attempt. And so that's the thought process behind going up. Yeah, it was an interesting one. Whatever sin he committed, it was not a cardinal one. So, here he comes. 176. We'll see if he's managed to make that pay off on the press. No. And he is not 2 1 against on the press. So, what we saw there was even though he continued to move the bar up, we, it was a ladder up one side up the other up one side up the other it has to be one fluid motion going up even if you slow down and then rack out lock out together that was a noble try though here he comes perfect stop on the way up and then we see one hand goes up the other side goes up and there there that's what we call a ladder nice try strong fellow So this is back to your Dono Yorov of Tajikistan. And he is wading in after a successful lift of 172, looking for 177. Which would be a new lifetime best. He came two kilos away from it last time with a successful lift of 172. Not a strain there. Body's shaking around a little bit. A little did he keep on the chest too. Everything in the right way. It is the body sequence that he was voted down for. He was jiggling around a bit too much. And so he misses out on it. And that's two misses he's had on the body sequence. One good lift. Straight up and there he goes moving around. He would benefit from a strap on that upper thigh to ensure nothing jiggles around and secure him in. He also might help his hyperextension to stay up high as he is. Nice try. Really nice try. Yeah, very unfortunate from his point of view as we wade on. And he's ready and raring to go, Thomas Kotzebinski. See, that's what I need in the morning. He's ready to go, 178. Well, he's best on the scene with his European medal. This for 178 to scurry up to second place in the competition. He doesn't have to get the bar far. 
unfortunately, he didn't get it far enough. They've uh, had to terminate that lift. Just a tiny bit more, but he didn't have that. So he ends on 170. That was in the second round, and that was his only mark. So actually, loads of misses coming in suddenly. Straight down, nice on the chest. Driving up, you can see he's losing energy and just can't drive it through. The third attempt is always the hardest because many athletes go for broke, meaning they go the highest they think they can go. And by this time, remember, they've gone through an entire warm up. They're tired. Well, we move on to Kentaro Uguchi of Japan. And I mean, for a lot of competitors in this, they won't have been in Paris Sport. Had a motorbike accident uh, five, six years ago. And within two months, he'd started the sport. And he hasn't looked back. Remarkable. That is amazing. Two months after an accident. Wow. So here he is. Hundred and eighty one. He'll stay in the silver medal position with group A to come. I remember gaps all the way. Group A will start in about fifteen minutes. But he's got that raised. Hundred and eighty one. Good lift. And with Kechi Sio along with him, his coach. What a lovely Lift for Japan. Absolutely perfect. Down, touch, and go with a nice stop. Rack it out. Nice. Really nice. Now, by the way, you'll note his coach had his name in the back. That was a few countries started that as an innovation last year, and uh, wouldn't it be great if everybody did it? He hinted. 181 then for Higuchi, 196 for Uru Yumuk. Two lifetime best. So he's he's added 16 kilos onto his lifetime best today to go up to 190. Actually. This puts him in a, a decent position in terms of climbing on up towards the race for Paris. He's currently sixth in that. And if he gets this, he'd go up into fourth place. He is in uncharted territory. 196 is 22 kilos heavier than he's lifted in competition. Irrespective of what he might have done in local events, in the gym, maybe if he'd done a bit of able body para powerlifting he's not done this in these championship circumstances before 196 he would be a massive leader at this stage by 15 and he'd be wading way up in terms of what we're going to see in group A actually there's only two attempts heavier than this at the moment in the opening round in group A so 196 if he gets it would put him in medal contention and he's done it. So now Uger Yumuk may be knocking on the door of a medal. He's got a whopping total lift as well, 566. He's certainly gonna be among the medals in the total lift right until the end of this competition. Wow! Wow! That is just awesome by Uger Yumuk. Straight down. Nice hold, straight up, just presses it straight out, locked, and then racked. And he gets up, he knows he's got it. Well done. Really nice. Really nice. Party time for Uwe Yumuk. 
Well, my word, 180, and he started on 180, and that's what Moisiades of Greece is you to start with in Group A. And look at this, 196, total lift of 566, lead of 36, Kataro Gucci's in good contention for the total lift as well. If there's lots of slip-ups in Group A, they've got a great chance of a medal in that. Gucci lifting 181 in terms of best lift and in the bronze medal position right now, back to your Dona Yonov of Tajikistan. Group A coming in 15 minutes, but my word! We've seen some great lifting here, and this man for India is in third place in the total lift as well!
Some brilliant names in this. Ten coming up in Group A. Champions all the way. The ultimate one, Bonnie Gustin of Malaysia, the European champion Donato Tileska. But Matt Harding has burst onto the scene really well for Great Britain. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Ray Dimas as well of Panama. Look where he's come. Moisiades, regularly up in the European medals. And he's going for the 10th heaviest uh, target. This is going to be something. Attention coaches, one minute remain for changes to the first attempt. Attention coaches, no more changes allowed to the first attempt. The athletes competing in the men's up to 79 kilogram category, Group A. Representing Greece, Kremislav Moisianis. Representing So the field on Ray the way out, Melkor the 10 who are Let's contesting get the medals it. ultimately in this really thrilling really men's 72 kilo Great final. Gustav Moisiadis of Greece coming out first. Ray Dimas, you've seen reference. Here he is from Panama. Representing Brazil, Ezekiel Corina. Matthew Harding for Great Britain. Representing Masra, Shaban Raya of Brazil. Shaban Ibrahim of Egypt, Mahmoud the joint African champion. Representing the Bashir to his Tamberi is Mahmoud Atia, the other joint champion. Representing Italy, Donato Tedes. Bexod Jamilov of Uzbekistan. Donato Teleska, the European champion, whisked back the European record in a dramatic final last year. I think that's gone again, hasn't it? Hu Peng of China. 
World Championship silver. But this is the man with all the golds. Actually, he was sat in front of us for the first couple of groups in this, which I have to say is quite unusual, but it's been checking out the rest of the event as a spectator. He's not a spectator anymore. He's the man right at the sharpest end. It is Buddy Gustin for Malaysia. It's a tremendous amount of talent in that field, a great amount of medals as well. Oh my word, this could be, again, I think it will be a very hot final. So let's see who our referees in the hot seats will be. And there they are. Getting ready. Referees for the 72 kilo, Group A. The centre referee, the chief referee from Yemen is Yasser Muslim. Left side referee from Japan is Hisako Yoshida. And the right hand side referee from Jordan is Azam Al Zubi. Technical controller for this final is Kim Yun Jung. And the technical delegate, Zita Gierko from Hungary. There's uh, a lot to look forward to in this final. Um, uh, it's going to be really, really fascinating. Really is. Uh, there's not a duff name in the field. They've all claimed major titles in their time. They are all primed and ready. This is going to be good. You can see them in the back right now, getting warmed up. 80 to 90 percent of the opening attempts in this flight, many of them will go up to their opener. So we're ready to go. This is group A of the men's 72 kilo final. This is Grevislav Moisiadis. Now, he's going for 175 here. He was originally looking at 180. So that puts him in group A. Uri Yumuk also went for 180 for his opening attempt. But because of the other figures being got, Yumuk of Turkey started in Group B, so he might have weighted up even higher had he started in Group A. Moisialis, not 180, going for 175, and yet he's in Group A. One of the things you can still slip through, a Moisialis who won gold in Belize in the World Cup earlier this year, in May, the former European champion twice over 2013 2018 he's top stuff no mark though in the europeans last year and that opened the door elsewhere for matt harding so 175 to start off with for moisiadis
So Moisiadis ready. That is a good lift for Moisiadis. And he's come through well. The twice European champion. Good lift. That was really excellent. Straight down, tight on his chest, straight up. Lockout, here he comes. Tight on the chest, straight up. Lockout, no questions asked. Perfect. Wow, Matt Harding coming in now. The European champion from last year from the world. He's burst into the scene fantastically. So Tom Whitaker, the national team coach on with him, his regular coach. They obviously have a great coaching setup in Britain anyway. A six in the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham and then went on to graduate massively to be the European champion. A hiding bronze in the Belize World Cup earlier this year, but what a win it was in the same venue last year to take the European gold. Taking his time to get himself prepared mentally, going through everything he needs to visually to get onto that bench and execute properly. A seasoned athlete. And he was a seasoned swimmer before that, and he actually held quite a few British records. Uh, Power swimming is another sport Britain's pretty decent that. Staged the uh, World Championships in Atlanta Manchester a couple of weeks ago. So, all ready for the European champion, Matt Harding. He's starting a 180. Originally he was looking at 185, but they've just dipped a little bit. We'll see how they do with that. Hu Peng, by the way, withdraws, injured. Cannot begin. Might open the door for Harding a little bit. And that is a good lift, oh yes. That's a cracking result. Now, 181 he started with in Tbilisi in the World Cup, and he got it. And Harding progressing really well here. And that's a new lifetime best, by the way, by a kilo. He's got prospects. And that's excellent when the, you can see the improvement of the athlete. Down, holds it tight, straight up and locks it out. And when they start with their lifetime best, you know they're progressing athletically. Really just great setup, nothing um, of improvement needed there. Fantastic. The Lawrence ceremony for their first attempt representing Bronzeville, Ezekiel Correa. Ezekiel Correa. Wading out for Brazil. He's already been crowned Brazilian champion this year. He won silver in the World Cup here in Dubai eight months ago. Silver in the Parapanams behind Ray Dimas. That joust begins again here. A lot sooner than you think. The reigning Pan Am champion, the former America's champion, dethroned by Ray Dimas, coming out at 182 and producing a good lift. And he was originally looking, you know, at 190. Not now, wow. That is a super lift for the man who has a title to defend in the eastern reaches of Santiago in a few months' time at the Pan Ams. Perfect setup. Shoulders up high, chest up high, 
buttocks on the bench, nice hyperextension, brings it down, holds it tight, straight up and locks it out. Beautiful lift, textbook. The man they call Zico has scored again from the Leonardo da Vinci University. A masterpiece. And here is the America's champion, Ray Dimas. His best ever result. He took gold in the Central American Games in 2018 and then ascended gloriously to the throne. He is El Ray. Ray. Dimas, 182, he lifted for the gold in St. Louis, and 185 here, he's going big. He's going for a lifetime best, and in order to score big here, he has to. The greatest moment of his powerlifting career, coming in St. Louis a year ago, the man from Panama City, Coached by Manuel Panea and Maximo Piquez. Well, fourth in the Pan Ams last time in Lima. And he will come into the next Pan Ams as the America's champion. And that is an ace lift. A magnificent by Dimas, 185 for a lifetime best. We are seeing some figures here. These are big lifts by big men and they're only gonna get bigger. Absolutely perfect. Brings it down, holds it tight drives it straight up, locks it out, took his time prior, knew, collected himself, knew exactly where he wanted to be and what he wanted to do. Fantastic. So now we are going to see the two African champions. So Shaban Ibrahim, world bronze already. He's going for a legends African record here as well of 187. He was originally looking at 183. This will be a new record and he'll be the first name against that record. Tie for the gold, so two gold medals between him and Atiyah Mahmoud in Cairo last year, and obviously we've all always quoted the Olympic Games high jump for that, and now we can mention that women's pole vault in the World Athletics Championships last night and as well in Budapest. You know, Will, he's also done some coaching for some of the young Egyptians over time. The 2004 Paralympic champion. The five-time world championship medalist. The former African champion. He's done it all and he wants to do more now. He's still the reigning African champion. So, legends, African record, but this to go right up into the echelons. 187 for Ibrahim. Yes, good lift, two to one in his favor. Shaban Ibrahim, 
Legends African record. That's good. He goes into the silver medal position. Behind Ugo Yumuk, who's on 196, remember? Which is way advanced on anything else we've seen in this group yet. Straight down, holds, straight up, locks it out. Just textbook perfect. He is amazing and incredible. And a really nice young man as well. The other reigning African champion, Mahmoud Atia, aiming for 192. Paralympic bronze last time out in Tokyo. African bronze in 2018 before that gold. Coaching team for Egypt, been Mahmoud Nabil and Shaban Yaya El Tusuki. Now there may be a massive double Egyptian assault on the medals board here. One minute remaining. Nice job collecting himself, taking his time, really making sure his mental is where it needs to be to get him on this bench and do what he needs to do. Yeah, he went up a uh, considerable amount. 194, Mark Modatia's uh, lifetime best has been. So, here's a big one coming to go five ahead of Shaban Ibrahim. So here he comes. Serious lifting so far. Good lift, three out of three for Mahmoud Atia. Exceptional, tremendous. And there ain't no stopping him at the moment, or any of them. Every lift so far in this Group A has been a good lift from good lifters. That was really, really nicely done. Took his time. Got his pencil together, laid down on the bench, straight down, perfect hold, straight up, locked it out, waited for Ra. Well done. Nice job. So now with Hu Peng withdrawing. We skip on to Bekseh Jamilov of Uzbekistan. Hundred and eighty is lifetime best in claiming bronze in the Asia Oceania Championships a year ago. That was a big debut. He finished second behind Hu Peng, who is now out. And Bonnie Gustin, who is very much in this. And boy, is Bonnie Gustin in this. Milov, 195. He would still be second behind Umuz Yumuk of Turkey. Turkey who lifted 196. Well, he's not wasted any time on the bench anyway. 195 and uh, the stop sequence, I'm afraid. It, it felt really rushed, I have to say. Yeah, he took it out. 
brought it down before a minute. You don't have to wait till a minute, but it's always good to collect yourself. And he was just fast on the way down. I think that then disrupted his stop sequence. He really didn't stop. He kept going and straight up. So that's what we call a stop and go. That's never gonna get you a white light. He's strong, he will come back and get it the next time. Well, that's quite something I have to say. And this is the European champion and a man who has his name against European records too. Donato Telesca, the 2022 European champion. The former world junior champion. Looking for the lead, 197 this is. So this is big by his standards. It's a 205 man in his career and whittling regularly between 72 and 80 kilos. Most recently, silver behind Ahmed Razam Azar in the Belisi World Cup. So in the European Championships, he uh, became the first man to win a gold medal, to leap from second to first on a power lift in championship history. The rule changed for the uh, regional championships, the continental championships last year, because Razam Azar had missed his last attempt. He couldn't respond. So remember that, and remember this man and how good he is, 190. Seven, good lift, great lift. And Tanaska had broken the European record, had to break the European record in order to get the gold last year. And Razim Azar got his revenge by breaking that European record himself in the Belisi World Cup when Tanaska finished second. But this is the place where you want to win medals. Really nicely done. Perhaps that California air is helping him. He mentioned he was living in San Diego, straight down, nice and tight, straight up, locked it out and waited for the press command. Nicely done. Great job for the young man. So now to the man. The reigning Asian Commonwealth Games World and Paralympic Champion for Malaysia, Bonnie Gustin, the world record holder on 230. He is a supreme man and the last time he came to a world championship and didn't win the gold medal he was 18 years old he finished 11th in 2017 he won the junior gold though he won the world title in 2019 successfully defended it in Belize two years ago so actually he has won a gold medal of some kind at every world championship he's been at at every global event he's been at. Paralympic gold in Tokyo on his Paralympic debut in 2021. Gold in Birmingham last year in the Commonwealth Games. Asia Oceania gold 2018, 2022, and loads of other medals that we don't have time to mention now. Because he never wastes time on the bench. He comes in, locks in, loads. 210. This is 20 kilos below his world record. Bonnie Gustin, Malaysia. In and up. And good. And leading. And on the way to gold. Bonnie Gustin, just champion. And he leaves no question. He holds that motionless on the chest for more than a split second to ensure no referee could say he didn't. 
he did a well, well, well job. Straight down, tight, look at that, and straight up, locks out. Nicely done, excellent job. The man from Kuching is winning, and winning by a lot. So that's round one done with a big winner, big leader. <laughs> he may well be the big winner. Odds of that have improved. Moisiadis now to start the second round of lifts for Greece. So here we go. Moisiadis of Greece, the twice European champion in his eighth world championship, sixth his best result. 2014, 2019, he's had five Paralympic Games under his belt, best result the first one, Athens 04, where he was four. Thessaloniki, Dimitrios Ioannidis has been his long term coach. Actually, he finished fourth in the last Europeans last year, that no markers were referencing earlier was 2015, his other two European champions, he has been the European champion. So here he comes, Moisiadis 180 to improve by five. Now that didn't look the straightest on the way up, but... Not at all. Moisiadis no has lift. not got it. It is no lift press sequence from uh, two of the three referees and actually the other one had already pressed for the body sequence anyway. It's one of those that you can just see and it's very obvious. Yes, his left, his right side locked and then he, his left side went up. It didn't lock out and actually the spotters and loaders helped to lift it off to lock it out. And we'll see in the replay that, uh, unfortunately, he did not get that. He is looking and tweaking his left sh top shoulder, scapula area. Let's hope that he's okay. Brings it down nice and tight. Straight up. Locks out on the one side and then doesn't really catch up on the other. So now let's go back to Britain and Matt Harding, 184. So he's had a lifetime best already today. And this is where you just have to be ambitious. By Matt Harding with his lifetime best and being European champion is in ninth right now. He gets this, he leaps up into sixth position in this group. He would be seventh overall because Umus Yumuk at the moment on 196 is in the bronze medal position. Hu Peng, by the way, former world champion, Paralympic silver medalist. Picking up an injury. He did come out on stage. Can't say whether he's then suddenly tweaked something while he's warming up just before the start, which would be a bit unlucky. What but we'll see. Mean? Matt Harding then, 184, to climb two spots in the table. For a new lifetime best as well by four, improving on what he achieved last time out. So this is where he is. This is the 72 kilo mark. His problem in terms of the race to Paris is that Mark Swan has already lifted 202, only one athlete per country per weight in the Paralympic Games. Them's the breaks in the field of eight or 10. He can get high in terms of this World Championship final with 184. Is that a lifetime best for him? Oh yes! Oh yes! Two to one for Matt Harding. He climbs into seventh place overall. And right now, he is 12 kilos off the medals. It's a really big ask that for the final excellent. attempt. Straight down, holds it, straight up, took his time, 
had his legs spread so his hips were aligned. Just did everything right, everything right. Nicely done. So now the reigning Pan Am champion who will be looking to defend his title at the Gimnasio Chimkawe Panyalolian in Eastern Santiago. And it's almost as far in the city as you can get before you hit the Andes. Actually, our, no Universidad Católica Football Club have got their stadium around that part as well. And I, literally, you're walking, I won't say a few meters, but I'd say a five minute walk. And then you're going uphill and you're into into one of the great mountain ranges around. Oi, look at this, Correa. Hold on a sec, we haven't started talking about you yet. 186, he goes in, he gets it. Two to one in his nice. favor, good lift. Correa wades on up, way up the table into sixth place now. Fabulous. Overtakes Matt Harding, just like that. Straight down, nice hold on the chest straight back up really nice and wide grip he's ready to go nicely done and the way he hopped on the bench lifted it went off he'll be on the next plane home the way it's going <laughs> here's ray dimas the man who succeeded him as america's champion his time came and came well in the America's Championship in St. Louis last year. Fourth in Lima in the Pan Ams. He was edged out in terms of the body weight by Yaxon Blanco Perez of Venezuela. They both finished level on 168. He lost out in terms of the body weight. He was 300 grams heavier than Jackson. That can't happen anymore. New rules, you get there first, that is your mark. Anyone else will have to overtake you. Dimas with gold in Dubai, across town at the World Cup in December. Dimas lifting 182 for the gold to edge out Ezekiel Correa by five kilos. Uniel Suarez won the bronze there. Hey, Christian Largo, who we've seen, finished in fourth spot. Exciting times, going for another lifetime best. Five kilos on top of what he achieved last time for 190. And this to break into fifth place. 190, get close to the medals. Good lift. Well, if you're gonna do that, do it at a World Championship or a Paralympic Games. He is doing it. Fabulous. That was nicely done. Very, very confident. All of these gentlemen are confident straight down. Lock, press, rack it out. Nice. These guys have a lot of experience and they know what they're doing. They know they're chasing numbers against each other. The former Paralympic champion. He wasn't in the Paralympic Games in Tokyo because Mahmoud Atia was representing Egypt in the weight division. He is a legend in stature, but also in age category. And he's going for the full set of medals as well. Don't forget that. He is winning the Legends category. He's gonna get the gold in that. He's on 187 and Moisiades isn't gonna try and overtake. So Ibrahim wins the Legends gold. Noguchi went to 181. Moisiades trying for 180 later in the next round. So he's competed in five Paralympic Games. Sydney 2000, silver. Athens 04, gold. Beijing 08, bronze. 
London 2012 bronze, Rio 2016 bronze, his seventh world championship, his most recent world championship, bronze, three bronzes in worlds, two silvers, reigning African champion, and that for the third time, and he won the one-off Arab championship gold in 2007. Nassad Isat has been his coach for uh, quite a considerable number of years. Shaban 194 to leap above Atia. And to go fourth for a Legends African record, a Legends World record. Yes, he has it. He has that world record. But a World Championship medal is key too. He's going to win the Legends goal too. But Ibrahim wants the big stuff and he's close to it. Brilliant, 194. Straight down. Nice on the chest. Straight up. Waits for the command. Absolutely textbook. Perfect. Perfect setup. Perfect approach. Nothing to change. Wonderful lift. Bekson Jamilov of Uzbekistan. Coming on up now, the Asia Oceania bronze medalist. Hundred and ninety seven, he missed one nine five previously. And now ready for more. So wading on up into uncharted territory. Here he is, going high, going big, 197. He's satisfied, he's every reason to be because the referees are too. Two to one in his favor. And he goes into the bronze medal position, 197. Teleska silver, 197. Gustin gold, 210. So. Umuz Yamuk finally out of Group B gets knocked out of the top three deep into the second round of Group A. Straight, straight up. Nice hold on the chest. Couldn't ask for better. And he gets up. He knows he did well. Excellent. Good for him. The bar is now loaded for their second and representing Masra Mahmoud. So yeah. Mahmoud Atia is also going for 197. Two other men, including Jamilov just now, have got this mark, which means that he can't get into the medals from this lift, but he's gonna go for 197 anyway. Remembering that once the second attempts are put in, they cannot change them. So he can change twice on his third attempt to try and get into medal contention. This to go fourth, and this to be the third man to hit 197. Right now, Teleska and Jamilov have done it. Bonnie Gustin's way above that in 210. Who's going to be brave enough to challenge him? Matt Budatia, 197, currently in six spot. This, actually, currently in seven spot. This to go fourth. Really taking his time, being sure his hands are exactly where he wants them. Mahmoud Atiyah, 197, an immense lift coming, approaching 200. 
He loves it. He has every reason to. It's a good lift. He gets 197. He goes into the top four. He knocks Umas Yumak down another spot. There is a big four-way battle for the medals now. No, there's not. This is six-way battle. This is some contest. An amazing amount of medalists right across the field. All the champions practically are here, right here, right now. And they're boxing off. This is strong stuff. Pretty fast on the chest, that's why he got one red. Straight up, locks out, cracks the bar. Nicely done. The European champion, Donato Telesco, going for 201, and he can go beyond this. Telesca. The Roman God. The former World Junior Champion in 2019 and how he's graduated since then. Sandro Brasci, his long-term coach, the Italian national team coach. Fifth in the World Championships last year. Sixth in the Paralympic Games. And Teleska. Oh, look at that for 201. To defend his silver medal position. His time is coming. His time is coming for a senior World Championship medal. And right now it's only Bonnie Gustin. The great. Bonnie Gustin is better than him in this. He truly makes it look like lifting a glass of water. He just made that look so flawless and easy. Unreal. Straight down. Locked out on his chest. Straight up. No hesitation. Lock out until he gets the command. Nicely done. Awesome. He knew he was going to get that, you know. It's, it's no relief. It's the satisfaction of a job well done. And this man knows what that's like. 210 already lifted. 220 coming. He's done 230 for the world record. That was in Dubai at the World Cup. He's the man. He continuously excels. And you know, Brother Brian, now a silver medalist of the Southeast Asian Games. He's top of the race to Paris. For him, there is no race. He's, he's in Paris. He's in the gold medal position. Those third round attempts elsewhere will tell you a particular story. They'll lead you down a particular path and him down a golden path. 220, Bonnie Gustin. He's on the way. He is well on the way. Bonnie Gustin will be a three-time world champion. I don't know if there's a, a crown that he's eligible to have that he doesn't hold yet. He wasn't in the, South, the, the uh, Southeast Asian Games. 
straight down. Holds it straight up. Absolutely sensational and perfect. Could have not asked for easier, and he made it look easy. That was phenomenal. I mean, I'm sure Buddy was at the Southeast Asian Games supporting his brother Brian and winning those bronze medal, uh, those silver medals, and. You know, it could have been just like a WrestleMania. Um, Bonnie, do you fancy coming up having a quick lift? This is an awesome field. Bonnie Guston is just some campaigner, and Moise Adis, in his own right, is now looking for a Legends European record. The former, twice former European champion, most recently, Berg Zemer in 2018, that lovely seaside town up in the Pas de Calais. And we've got nice crowds there, I'll tell you as well. It's kind of nice to be in a place where you're the full center of attention all week, uh, as we are here. Moisey Adis, 185, he missed 180, and this for a legend's European record. Is his anyway sent in Belize at the World Cup there on the first of May? 183 that was. 185 this is. <laughs> He's really taking his time, getting himself prepared, strapping himself in, making sure his mental focus is where it needs to be. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Job. And if you think this is the only record attempt in this third round, you're wrong. 185, Moisiades coming in. This would elevate him to ninth place. Ahead of Matt Harding, who's responsible follow, just behind Ezekiel Correa. Struggling with it, and it won't come for Moisiades. He finishes on 175. And uh, yet the twice European champion won't complete the lift. 175 he ends with. So he doesn't improve on his Legends European record, but he is that record holder anyway. And he wraps up with one lift in, 175. Yes, he did everything he could. He got, he had all his mental properly. He just didn't have enough energy and power today. Nicely done. Straight down, looks good on the chest. His head actually came up, so he was gonna get a red light from the center ref. Usually when the head comes up when you're pushing up, that's when you're trying to use your whole body. And obviously we know there's only certain body parts you should be using. Nice try. Well, back home for Matt Harding. It's, it's still breakfast time, really. Deep into lunchtime in Dubai. Matt Harding looking for his third lifetime best of the day. Now there's a few significances here. Gets this. He'll have a total lift of 5.52, five which will put him into the silver medal position in the total lift behind Thomas Yumuk from earlier. Turkey, Turkey in the total lift. So Matt Harding is ready. Just a little stop, just a little bit of a reorganization. 188 for Harding. So he's had a little bit of extra time to steady himself. Tom Whittaker has coached. They have a really lovely coaching setup there. And it's part of British weightlifting. There are some countries that have their para athletes under the National Paralympic Committee. Britain is different. 
So, Matt Harding from the world. The European champion. Sixth in the Commonwealth Games where they had those massive crowds of Birmingham. His world championship debut in Belize, he finished 16th. This is something a lot more serious. It's a top 10 finish, it's a single digit finish. And if he gets it, it will be eighth. He would be overtaking Ezekiel Correa, so he's not going to get written in permanent black ink in the record books just yet. He shows his extension to the referees, letting them know that he does not have complete and full extension. It's worth doing that every single time, without fail. Well, Matt Harding is part of a new set of British lifters who've come in. They've just been tremendous. They've recycled their squad. Think about the amount of hard work and talent sponsoring it does to do that. So here he is. It's Matt Harding at 188. Would be his third lifetime best of the day. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. 188. New horizons for Matt Harding. Well, he leaps up to eight there. Fantastic. Every lift a lifetime best today. Really nicely done, really nicely done, and he knew he did well too. Great energy, yet he was able to rein it in so that he was able to concentrate, focus, straight on his chest, straight up. Got away with a little bit on that right side there with a little bit of a push. That's why he got one red. Excellent job though. Ezekiel Correa is pushed down a spot, but he can leap back up straight away with 189. Matt Harding now is in the silver medal position in the total lift on 5.52. Yimou leading on 5.66. And currently in third is Kentaro Uguchi of Japan 5.30. Now we've only had two men who have missed lifts in this top group. And that means that a lot of people can now leap up into the medals in the total lift. Six of them can still. And this is the latest of them. Ezekiel Correa, 3-6-8. And if he gets this, he goes to 5-7 five, five, in the total lift. So he'd go second in that. He would go eighth in terms of the, the main event the reigning Pan Am champion in a battle of champions. It's no lift. All three against two in the stop sequence from the two side referees and the center referee didn't line the press. Well, he doesn't get that at all. And Correa stays in ninth. Harding definitively finishes in eighth place. Just touches and goes. He doesn't stop at all. Straight up after. Nice lockout, but unfortunately, you must have a discernible stop. It doesn't have to stay long, but it has to stop. Nice try. Well, he has his title to defend in Santiago. As east in the city as you can get. This is the man who whisked away his America's title. Dimas, Panama, going for 195, which now is not going to be enough for a medal.
But if he clears it, he goes to a total lift of 570, which would be the lead. And at worst, he would finish fifth in that. That depends on everyone coming after. He can only do what he can do. And what he can do is a lifetime best of 195. One minute remaining. He's got that through. This is some primer for the Pan Ams, I'll tell you. He's looking for a top five finish. No lift, no lift. It's the stop sequence from the two angles. And he'll graciously accept that. He's, he's gone through so well in lifetime best today anyway. Ray Dimas has gone way above the mark in which he won the Pan Am title. Just to stop, to a touch and go. And I'll be honest with you, the coach gave him the command too quickly. He went on the coach's command. The coach should have, should have let him hold it another second. He would have then gotten that attempt. A little bit of previous there. Ray Dimas is not yet the Pan Am champion. We might review that in a couple of months. Shaban Ibrahim has his eye on quite a few things here. Aiming for a new Legends world record of 198. But with the Legends gold medal in the bag, this would send him into the, the bronze medal position. Right now he is sixth. Yumuk lifted 196. Atia 197 and fourth. Jamilov 197 and third. Third might be becoming 198. For the reigning African champion. For the 2004 Paralympic champion in Athens. This could be his sixth world championship medal. He debuted in the world championships in Dubai in 1998 in the second one all time. He finished fifth there. He wasn't around for the first one in Uppsala in Sweden in 94. It's the only thing world championships are lacking these days. Swedes. Shaban Ibrahim, 198. That's not even, and straight away, our center referee has decided he's going to terminate that. That was a worthy effort for another World Championship bronze. He wins the Legends gold. He's already set a new Legends world record today. The ultimate prize for him was finishing in the top three. And obviously, had he got that, no guarantee he'd still come away with the bronze, but he'd have done everything he could. Shaban Ibrahim at 198. Strain on the chest, comes up, starts to go up higher on the left, the right side, and then just comes down on the left. He is a great champion, and just his career is amazing. Should be proud. Well done, mate. Matt Harding has just bounded past us. <laughs> he's had the <laughs> day of his life. He's, he's running everywhere. Ace, he's found his team. He was looking around the crowd. And he's found them. And we have found Matt Mudat here. So every lift from Ibrahim onwards. An attempt at the medals. Mahmoud Atia. This again, looking to get the bronze. So it's like this. Bonnie Gust and Donato Teleska, they're the top two. Jamilov is not secure in bronze. 
Jamilov in only his second major championships. Atia here, currently in fourth, to leap above Jamilov to go up into the bronze medal position. Atia, Paralympic silver in Tokyo, without a crowd there. The African gold alongside Shaban Ibrahim. Bronze previously in 2018, when they were in Algiers. Really good Egyptian coaching team, Mahmoud Nabil, Shaban, Yaya Al Dazuki. Mesad Izzat has been looking after uh, Shaban Ibrahim as well, and of course, others, many more to build up a champion. Paralympic silver, African gold, this could be world bronze. Fifth is previous best finish. He's on the brink of a medal. Mahmoud Atia. 198. No. No. He finishes fourth. His best ever world championship result. And no. Beksod Jamilov gets the bronze for Uzbekistan in his global debut for Jamilov. Atia only added one kilo to the bar, but it was one kilo too much. He finishes fourth. Mahmoud Atia finishes at 197. Didn't get 198. It's taken a lot out of him. Of course it has. So, so close. And Jamilov also lifting 197 to be in third, but he got there first. Straight down. He bends the bar over his chest and then comes up. Just can't get it past that halfway mark. I think once the bar went to the left on his chest, he was just out of sequence. Really nice effort, though. So this man, Jamilov, at the age of 31, the Asia Oceania bronze medalist lifting 180 on his debut a year ago, has added 17 kilos to his lifetime best to be a world championship bronze medalist. 200 is due to be his lift. 201 would match Teleska. 202 would overtake Teleska. He's not thinking of anything of that now. Jamilov. 200 kilos, he has the bronze medal in his pocket. Reached 197 before Mahmoud Atia did, that was the key thing. Jamil off the bronze, Atia in fourth place. Atia missing 198, Ibrahim missing 198. And I'll tell you something, Umar Yumuk in group B, on 196 in fifth position, one kilo of the medals. And here's another if for you. He's not on the board here because he was in Group B. He's in fifth of up on 196. And you're ahead of me here. If he'd lifted 197, he'd be in bronze now. Jamilov wouldn't be. But this still would be a lift for bronze. 200. And I'll tell you what. He's got it up there, 200 kilos. Jamilov's got it raised. He's got a good lift, 200. What a magnificent lift. That was excellent. That was really excellent. He came in, he knew what he had to do. Just control it, come down, hold it for a split second, straight up, lock it out. And that's what he did. Look at this, comes down, holds it, straight up, no questions asked, locks it out and racks it. Well done. That was great work. 
if this, if that. 200, brilliant lift. Jamilov, 200. That's the lift that would have secured him bronze anyway. The European champion has claimed the World Championship silver medal. And he's going to wrap up with 202. Now, what's the stake here? Is should he get it? He goes into the gold medal position in terms of the total lift. He would go to 600. The lift after this, don't go anywhere. Gold medal's decided, but the final lift of Bonnie Gustin has got a lot hanging on it. Go nowhere. Teleska 600, if he gets this. So right now, the total lift being led by Kumaro Yumuk on 5.66. Matt Harding, Matty Harding is in the silver medal position 5.52 and he's sitting in the front row with his, I'm taking it to be his family. And bronze right now, 5.30 is Higuchi. So, if only one of the next two lifts is successful, Higuchi is knocked out of it. If the two of them are, then Higuchi and Harding are knocked out of the top three in terms of the total lift. So, Teleska, World Championship silver secured. This for 202. And he has that raised. And Teleska gets there. What a day! For Donato Teleska, and he's on the brink of winning the total lift. And it will take the greatest effort of all time in this division to knock him off. Top spot in the total lift. 600, his total now. Just so excellently done. Straight down, tight on the chest, straight up. Lockout and rock. Great body position. There's just nothing he could have done differently. Wonderful, wonderful attempt. And he gets three white lies, lights as his prize. Bonnie Gustin, world champion for the third time. The fourth world championship in which she's walked away with the world crown. Junior world title at his first ones. Asia Oceania champion, Commonwealth Games champion. World champion again, Paralympic champion, world record holder on 230. Ah, but wait, what do you give the man who is everything? Another world record maybe. This is for 231. What this also means is that Matt Harding, who's clawing on to the total bronze medal on 552, it would take a world record the world record to knock him out of it. In terms of the total lift, Teleska, gold, 600. Yumuk, silver, 566. Harding, bronze, 552. Right now, Gustin is on 430. Bonnie Gustin comes out looking to break his own world record. And you know what, he set that current mark in Dubai at the World Cup two years ago. He's very rarely had a, an attempt at it since then, despite all the big occasions he's been at. But now, Claiming world title for the third time. He feels in the mood for it, in the form for it. A leap of 11 kilos from his previous attempt. Bonnie Guston, with his two attempts, is sixth in terms of the total lift right now. 
His world record is 230. This for 231 for a new world record. Bonnie Guston continues to be just unbeatable in this. There's only one man who can beat him himself. New world record. 231. He's got it up there. Gustin. World record at the World Championships. The gold medal is his again, and the world record is his again. 231 for Bonnie Gustin. Perfection. Pound for pound, is there anybody better than this man right now? Straight down, press, straight up, locks it out. Unbelievable, unbelievable, just absolutely amazing. So strong. Bonnie Gustin does it again, breaks his world record, wins his third world championship title. He holds just about all the crowns that he can do. 661 his total lift. That's the gold in that. Teleska, the silver 600. And Yumuk, the bronze and 566. Harding was knocked down to fourth by that. Down to 552. What a competition. Gustin takes the gold. Absolutely amazing, such strong lifters. And almost in the first two, almost everyone got their attempts. That was amazing. Well, what a combination this has proven to be. We'll have all of the medals coming up for you. But the one, two, three, Gustin, 231. Teleska, 202. Jamilov, 200. The one, two, three.
what a competition. Truly, what a competition. Victory 70 on the way for this men's 72 kilo final at these World Championships. Uh, practically everybody in that A group and almost everybody in Group B had a major championship medal to the name and these three have got more of them now. So the uh, Victory 70, the medals will be presented by on the right of your picture, Mr. Naal Khalifa Ben Zal, the Vice President of Supply Chain Management, Quality, Health and Safety and Environment, Dewa. Alongside him, the very familiar figure of Lieutenant Commander Kamal Ruzaman Kadir, the World Para Powerlifting Steering Committee Chairperson. So it is bronze for Dexon Jamilov of Uzbekistan, who made his championship debut last year, Asia Oceania Championships, picks up the bronze in that. That was 180, adds 20 kilos onto his lifetime best today, and picks up. World Championship Bronze. Being a European champion is a great honor. Being a world champion silver medalist is something different again. And Teleska lifting 202, which is so close to his lifetime best anyway, which is a, a European record at 80, or at least it was. And he picks up World Championship Silver for the first time. This man has been here before, again and again and again. And you just think there's nothing new under the sun for him. But today, he lifts 231 for the first time. A new world record for the Asia Oceania Commonwealth Games, Paralympic, and now three-time world champion, Bonnie Gustin of Malaysia. A tremendous sportsman, one of the ultimate world champions. And the world champion again for Malaysia. There's no holding this man back. And with the Paralympic Games in Paris, way, he continues to be one of para powerlifting's ultimate stars. And he wins the total lift as well on 661. Teleska the silver on 600. And Ugar Yumak the bronze out of group B on 566. And the legend's gold going to Shaban Ibrahim on 194. Moisiadis, 175 in the bronze medal position with Kentaro Higuchi, the silver on 181. Higuchi also taking the legend's total gold on 530. Uh, 
Moisiatis actually 175, I would imagine. To get the bronze, that is the case. Well, fabulous competition over the last four and a half hours. Hope you've enjoyed it. We have. We're back at four for the women's finals on the way. That is in two hours' time.